let me give you a little word of advice, guys. Um, never buy anything, at least any Apple products, from Amazon refurbished. Unless it's like your only viable option, or if you're like looking for like the bare bones minimum cheapest fucking thing you can possibly find. For those of you who do not know what Amazon refurbished is, uh, it is it is a very good concept. And it's a thing that I do not think should go away entirely, it's just a thing that I think needs to be fixed in several ways. Amazon refurbished is this service that is put on by Amazon where sellers uh, will take Apple products that have been used, they'll refurbish them, they'll fix broken parts, scratches, tarnishes, uh, parts that aren't working, maybe if the screen's cracked or some shit. They basically, they take these Apple devices, uh, sometimes Android devices too, they do it with Android devices, but I, I haven't, I've never seen any problems with, with those. But as far as Apple products go, they take these Apple products, they refurbish them after somebody has used them, right? Uh, which sounds like a glorious and, and good thing that could be very beneficial. Because since they're refurbished, they sell at a far lower price. Like an iPhone 10, back when it was first sold, went for a little bit above $1,000. Nowadays, you can get an iPhone 10 on Amazon refurbished for in between $200 and $300. So it's a bit, it's a bit of a fucking bargain. But do not let the low price fool you because they do not do what they say they do before they give you this fucking phone. So take a look at this innocent iPhone 7, okay? I mean, looks harmless. Only $150 versus the original price. That's pretty fucking good if I do say so myself. It's renewed. You can get 32, 168, or 256 gigabytes. Good deal either way. It goes in an array of colors, gold, black, jet black, blah, 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 blah. You already know. But what exactly does Amazon Renewed entail? Now, I want to make something clear. As far as the functionality of the phones they give you, the functionality is great. Top tier, god tier functionality, good as new. As far as far as the phone runs, like as far as like turning it on and doing things, uh, as far as like the speed of it running, top tier, no problems, no issues whatsoever. But okay, there is a gigantic ass but in there. Amazon states that the products will have batteries which exceed 80% capacity, exceed 80% capacity relative to new and will function like new. Product will be restored to its original factory settings. But when I got the phone, the battery capacity was at 69%. In what world does that exceed 80%? Nice, right? Real nice. And I'd like to think that the 69% is just a coincidence, but Jesus fucking Christ, this piece of shit would not run on battery power in my pocket, like, while well, inactive. Like, I, like, I'm not even using it, it's just in my pocket inactive. It would die after, like, four fucking hours. In what universe is that usable to the average consumer? I literally had to spend more money getting the fucking battery replaced than I would if I had just bought a new fucking phone. Like if they just if they just put a new battery in, which won't cost them a lot of money, then there would be no issues. So for those of you who don't know what the whole battery capacity thing means, basically the battery capacity percentage is what percentage of, of health that my battery pretty much has. So so let's say for instance that this phone has 50% battery capacity, okay? Let's just say hypothetically that it's at 50%. So as you can see, it's at about like 62% of its actual battery life. So since I have a hypothetically 50% battery capacity on this phone, then that means that I'm actually at around 50% of what my actual battery power is. So if I'm at 62%, I'm actually around like 31%, which is really fucking stupid. But it's just how it is. So if your phone's at 100% and your battery capacity is 60%, then your phone is actually at 60% of 100%, if it makes sense, if what I'm saying makes sense. And what's cool, okay, one thing I, I do give props to Amazon for is that they give you 90 days to return. No complaints there, okay? But I'm not trying to fucking return 10,000 phones if they're all gonna come back with O only like fucking 70 60 battery capacity you got me fucked up if you think i'm gonna sit here for like several months trying to get the, the correct phone no bitch so you know what i suck at the fuck up i go replace the battery at you know my local 
repair shop and it's already at 96 percent how do you go from 100 percent to 96 percent within the span of a fucking month that fast holy shit this shit i can't even fucking believe this shit but but this guys this is where it gets worse I if that was even possible in the first place this is where it gets fucking worse now i just got this in the mail okay i figured i would give amazon another shot to not fuck me over. So I ordered the 10S, and we're gonna see if it's really as bad as my first experience was. Hopefully I don't fucking regret this. Let's just get right into this shit. The fuck? Welcome to the club. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. So this is what comes inside the box. There's just a piece of paper describing the item. But it comes in this fucking thing. So now I'm going to just check if there's any visible outer damage. Which, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if there was. So there's already some visible scratching and tarnishing, but I already know the camera is not going to be picking that up. But I mean, nothing too crippling to the experience, I guess. In the box, you get like a generic brand charging brick with an actual Apple charger, but not a charging brick, I guess. So now I'm gonna set this up. So it's finally on, shit took fucking forever, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and see now what exactly the battery health is on this new phone that just came in. Whether it's good or bad, I will include it regardless. Okay. 82. 82%. So this time, they were at least honest, but that's still a bit low. So it looks like they did not fuck me over that second time. Luckily, um, it's still, you know, not optimal. It's still at 82%, but you know what? Whatever. It is what it is. I don't know if I'll go get a new battery or not. But either way, I do not recommend um, Amazon refurbished, uh, unless, like I said, it's your only, only viable option. But... I guess that's it. See you guys whenever.